Hi my lovely ladies, uh, so this video is going to be a tag. I was tagged by Miss X Tashi, Tashi, ah, I think I said that, I think I said, hopefully I said that right. Um, yeah, I was tagged by her to do this Get Your Freak On 15 Weird Facts tag. Um, so yeah, just so let's just get right into it. Um, I'm going to be looking down this way just because um, I'm looking at my computer, um, to look at the questions and stuff like that. So sorry if my um, camera's a little bit shaky. Sorry in advance. Uh, yeah. Okay. So question number one is: What's a nickname your What's a nickname only your family calls you? Um, they actually call me different things. Actually, it's mostly my sister that calls me this. She actually made up with a couple of my nicknames. Actually, uh, she calls me Changis and uh, my parents and my brothers and stuff like they call me that too they, um, so they call me Changis sometimes um, my sister calls me Emilochi um, and she always calls me Rosaria um, yeah I don't know why she just made my name Rosaria she's weird she's a weird girl <laughs> anywho and so yeah those are the only three nicknames I guess that they call me uh, number two what's a weird habit of yours um I don't know I'm kind of a weird person to begin with I guess I would say a habit would probably be I mean I don't, I don't know if this is a habit or not but I have towels for everything like my boyfriend gets annoyed with that he he doesn't understand why there's a need for so many towels like I have obviously towels for the shower after you done like showering and stuff I have towels to dry your hands with I have towels like for the kitchen and stuff I have like towels to dry the dishes I have towels just to clean up like like clean and stuff I have another towel just like, kind of like a drying towel like um like when there's not enough room in the in the drying rack there's like a drying towel there's yeah there and then there's like a cleaning towel for everything else like when I'm cleaning like um, the apartment and stuff not just the kitchen because the kitchen has its own towel yeah I don't know I'm weird my boyfriend doesn't like it he's just like okay what's what's this towel for or what do what do I need I, I need a towel for this thing and yeah he, he doesn't like that I guess that's a habit of mine I don't know Okay, number three. Do you have any weird phobias? Um, I don't know if this one could be considered weird, but I'm afraid of dolls and I'm afraid of gnomes. My boyfriend makes fun of me because, um, I don't know, like, like on TV, he's like, oh, aren't you afraid of those things? I'm like, <laughs> and like with dolls, especially porcelain dolls, I don't know why, but they creep me out. Okay. I had this like quinceanera, uh, okay, because I had my quinceanera and you know how like they gave you those like dolls, those like big size like three foot tall dolls, um, yeah, I had one, I had it, I had her in my room and I walked in one day, uh, no one was in the house, or I mean they were in the house but they were outside and stuff, I just went to my room to go get something and then she was like looking at me, so I was just like looking at her just like, I, Expect, or, um, inspecting her I don't know and then she like freaking blinked or something and then she like moved her head I was like what the fuck I freaking like ran out of the room this was like when I was like 16 like a year later after I put her in my room like that yeah that freaked me out um, actually my whole phobia or doll phobia started when I was really young actually I freaking watched a scary movie by myself it was during the daytime though Watched, I watched a scary movie. It was about dolls killing people. They how they would come to life at night and they would kill people. I know it's scary. And all of a sudden, I heard, I felt the bed shake, and I don't know, it freaked me out. And like I still played with dolls at the time, but it didn't really impact me. I guess more until I was older, like in high school and stuff. So yeah, that's a weird phobia I guess that I have. Uh, number four, what's a song you secretly secretly love to blast and belt out when you're alone? I sing anything, honestly, whatever's on the radio or if I'm listening to, um, like, 
music on my computer, music on my iP iPhone, iPod, whatever. Um, just anything that, if there's a song that comes on and I know it, I'll sing it. I don't have the, you know, a song that I secretly love to sing. Um, I mean, there's a whole bunch of songs that I like to sing, so, yeah. Number five, uh, what's one of your biggest pet peeves? Oh my gosh, I have so many. Um, I don't like people chewing with their mouths open. I don't, like, that just freaking bugs me. Also bugs me when people leave the seat up, like my boyfriend, her freaking irritates me. And, um... I don't like when people pick their nose in like public. That's just gross. Um, I don't like freaking people. Uh, what's it called? Texting during movies. That annoys me so much. Um, what else? I don't know. I have a whole bunch, but I can't think of anything else right now. But those are like some of my, some of my biggest pet peeves. Um, number six. What's one of your nervous habits. Um, I think it would probably be um, the one that I do most is I talk really, really fast when I'm nervous. Like, and you can hear it in my voice too. Like, I'm kind of like, like you can tell I'm nervous. Um, so that's like one of my biggest, I guess, nervous habits. Uh, number seven. What side of the bed do you sleep on? I usually sleep on the left side of the bed. Um, I, I see either side of the bed doesn't matter, but I like the left side better. So, yeah. Um, number eight. What was your first stuffed animal and its name? I honestly don't... Sorry, my hair is so retarded. Um, like, I don't honestly remember, but in pictures i seen that I had, like, this big white stuffed bear that I always played with and I always had in my pictures. I'm guessing that was my first stuffed animal. I don't know what his name was, but I know I have pictures of me and that stuffed animal there. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, number nine. What's the drink you always order at Starbucks? I, I don't know. I guess I mostly order Frappuccinos um, for a while actually. Uh, like two years ago I was like hooked on to Starbucks because of my friend she would go to Starbucks all the time and I was kind of hooked on to it and so I, I kind of tried everything from the menu um so yeah but I I, I just usually when I'm craving a Starbucks coffee I just usually get um my frappuccino which would be a mocha frappuccino or a caramel frappuccino or actually anything, whatever I'm craving, but those are the two that I mostly get. Um, number 10, what's a beauty rule you preach but you never actually practice? It will probably be um, putting some kind of heat protectant on your hair. Um, I always tell my sister to do that because um, my, my sister, um, she has really, really damaged hair. She straightens her hair every day. Sometimes she just doesn't put on hair protectant. Like she does, but excuse me, I'm like burping. I just had dinner a while ago. <laughs> All the food's trying to, ugh. Anyway. Okay, so yeah, I always tell her to put some heat protectant in her hair, um, but she puts it on after, afterward, after she's done. She's supposed to put it before. Yeah. And so I tell her all the time, and I don't do that just because, like, my hair isn't as damaged. Like, it, I never had any split ends. I had them here and there, but it was never, like, really bad. Um, but now I kind of do because I bleached my hair because um, I did highlights and I bleached it. So now it's, like, bad. But um, I, yeah. I put heat protectants, but I don't put it on beforehand sometimes I totally forget sometimes and I put it on afterward I know it's bad but I sometimes do it but when I do remember obviously I, I do put it on beforehand um, number 11 which way do you face in the shower I, I face either way I don't know I face the shower head I, when I'm washing my face in the shower I face away from the shower head when I'm washing my hair I don't know I turn I turn whatever 
a weird question. Uh, 12, do you have any weird body skills? Not really. Um, I don't have any weirdness. I mean, uh, this is not a body skill, but back in 7th grade, 7th or 8th grade, I was like in a basketball club team thing, and like it was an after school thing, and I was playing basketball, and my finger, I was trying to catch the ball, and my finger kind of hit it and went this way. So now it's always been like that, and it's crooked, and this, my ring finger on the side goes that way, so it's all weird. And yeah, so I can't put them together, I mean, I, this is the farthest I can put them together, but it hurts, so I can't do that, and look at this hand. This hand's like perfectly straight, and yeah. This one is retarded, so it's not a special thing, but it's just weird. Uh, 13, what's your favorite comfort food that's bad, but you love to eat it anyways? Oh my gosh. Uh, chips, ice cream, anything junk food is like my comfort food. Anything junk food, honestly, uh, which is bad. Uh, 14, what's a phrase or exclamation you always say? I probably have to say, I, I always say dude a lot. Yeah, dude. I always add it in my sentence, and I even call my boyfriend dude sometimes, and he doesn't like it. It kind of like, I don't know if it offends him, it just kind of bugs him that I call him dude. And, I don't know. So he's, so every time, like now, like it slips out sometimes, and he's like, oh, okay, like, do you want me to call you dude? I don't know, he just gets my hurt. But, okay, so that's one thing I always say, I guess. Uh, 15, time to sleep, what are you actually wearing? wearing my PJs. What else? Um, yeah. Have some shorts and a top. Or one of those like dress type PJs, you know what I'm talking about? I don't know. Whatever I have. Uh, 16. What do you use to wear that you thought was cool but now you realize it wasn't that hot? Oh my gosh. I used to wear the I used to wear, I didn't, I was never in trend, never in style back then. I mean, I'm not even, I'm not now either. I just kind of wear what I like to wear. I, kinda, or I, I like, or I wear what I like. Does that make any sense? I don't have a trend. I don't have a style or whatever. Um, but back then, um, I, w I didn't dress cute at all. Um, my mom would buy me some clothes. I mean, I would pick out some clothes too. But whenever she would go buy herself to the store, she would pick me pick out some things for me and let me tell you they weren't the prettiest things I mean they weren't in style at the time they were in style maybe back then in kindergarten or something but yeah and so me trying to be the nice daughter that I am um, I didn't want to hurt her feelings or anything so I would you know accept it and I would wear it just to um, at least I would wear it only once just so I can make her happy and like you know but yeah that that was a while back ago but now um, I guess I dress okay I don't know whatever I still I don't know I don't dress as nerdy I guess as I used to like I used to wear overalls like in freaking seventh grade when those were so not even in those were like way back in like kindergarten when those were in or whatever um, yeah it was that bad but anywho now my mom kind of knows what I like and stuff so she thinks I dress weird anyways to begin with, so whatever. Um, anywho, hope you guys, hope, oh my gosh, I always say hoped. Anywho, hope you guys like this video, and I'll see you in a later video. Bye.